I'm Skyler. If you've noticed that your iPod is a little bit slow in running certain applications, there are a couple of things you can try. First, turn your iPod off by holding the sleep-wake button down for a while, and then slide to power off. What this does is run a bunch of routines and subroutines that clear out all the memory and caches and stuff like that in your iPod. So chances are it was probably working on something that it didn't actually have to work on, and that was taking up part of its attention. So I'm going to turn it back on, and we'll see it boot up. That'll solve a lot of problems. Uh, general slowness, definitely. It acting weird, certainly. It does a lot of different things. So it's actually a really good habit to shut your iPod down or any iOS device pretty regularly. So this will boot back up. And I'll show you another trick that you can do. Certain applications, only very few of them, take up system resources when they're running in the background. Um, it's especially common among applications that use location services. Um, or receive push notifications like mail. So press your home button twice, and that way you can take a look at everything that's currently running. In my case, not a whole lot of stuff. If I rest my finger on an application, I can tap the red circle in order to quit it. So first, shut your iPod down. Then when you boot it back up, you can quit applications. And those two things will unlock whatever performance you had locked up by those apps. So um, games might run a little bit faster. Applications might ro load a little bit more quickly. But ultimately, you're limited by the speed of the processor and its amount of RAM. So you know, you're know, you always going to be fighting off the urge to upgrade to the newest iPod is basically what it comes down to. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler. Thank you.